Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a Nakendu, 12 years old, here on my cask. It's a 0.7 liter bottle, 43% ABV, and it's priced roughly around 30 euros, dollars, pounds. These bottles carry a vintage. Here, this one is from 2003. And while I'm taking this video, there are the 2004 bottles already available on the shelves. And every year there's a new vintage and it's called Seasons at the distillery because in former times, uh, in the hot summers, the River Spey, on, uh, where the Nokendu distillery uh, is situated directly on the shore, uh, when the water level was low, then there was not enough water uh, for running the cooling system full power. And therefore they decided, no, we do not produce in summer. Uh, we produce in winter when there is more water, where it's colder, where the distillation, uh, the, the condensing and the distillation would be better. And from this on, they said, well, this is from that season and this is from that season. And so the uh, vintages... Uh, appeared on the bottle and stayed until today and every bottle from the Nokendu I think has this vintage on it and uh, there's this 12 years, uh, there's a 15, an 18, a 21 years, several of them I had here on my cask already and there's a 25 I think and from time to time I found a 23 years old but they are quite rare, they are quite expensive and this one is the million seller and I find it wonderful that this million seller still has 43% and that did not, uh, well, followed the normal way to reduce it to the legal minimum of 40%. So here you have some uh, extra for either taste or dilution, whatever you like. Um, this is from Bourbon Cast, of course, refill and first fill ex Bourbon Cast. Uh, fruity and delicate and on the back well there's a lot of uh, of this uh, of the history and oh well Nokandu derived from Gaelic Nokandu meaning little black hill uh, yeah and then there's all the thing I, I told you about the seasons here on the back and uh, Delicate, fruity, and subtle with distinctive fresh almond notes. And I'm afraid this one is colored. The older ones at Nokendu aren't colored. Former times, also the 12 year old wasn't colored or wasn't written on it. Oh, wonderful fruity. Um, but today uh, they switched it. One or two years ago, they put this uh, artificial coloring on the back. Uh, well, to have the differences in batches leveled out. Um, but the color of the 12 year old didn't change. So they, they didn't put uh, much color in it, if at all. Um, because 12 years is old enough for acquiring color from close every cask. So the first is vanilla, vanilla, vanilla from those ex bourbon casks. So the amount of ex bourbon casks is definitely there, it's high. A lot of fruit, and this is a easy drinking whiskey. So it's wonderful, it's pleasant, it's balanced. There's no alcohol in it, in the smell. So the 43% are covered by the tastes. That means that the tastes are strong enough to cover the alcohol. And this is a good thing because that means it's matured better than those smelling just for alcohol. In the back, there's a little spiciness, probably those almonds mentioned on the tube, but nuts, hazelnuts, yeah, some, some nuttiness. So it's a 
wonderful, balanced and already complex taste, even being the entry malt of Nokendo uh, with a very reasonable price. And I think they didn't change to a no age statement whiskey. One of the very few distilleries still carrying age statement on all of their bottles. Fruitiness is wonderful. And now there are those almonds, those bitter almonds. Have you ever seen an almond tree, a wild one? Uh, took some, some almonds, cracked them and tasted them. Uh, they are bitter. The natural bitterness, which is, well, you shouldn't eat more than a dozen of those bitter almonds, because otherwise uh, might be bad to your health. Uh, and this little bitterness of almonds appears uh, not too strong, but you there is bitterness. So you have to cope with that. And the aftertaste, a little dryness appears. And the nuttiness is still there. Yeah, the spiciness takes over. The bitterness is gone now. There's a mouthful of wonderful aftertaste. This is a uh, almonds. This is a a typical Highland whiskey from the nose and the taste, and then it develops a depth, a power, a spiciness, which is quite uncommon for the million seller brand of a distillery, which is typically a lot weaker, smoother. Uh, so this one is big stuff, and I find it a very good and excellent relationship between the price and the value. <sighs> yeah, thank you for watching. There's more to come and don't be afraid that there's the next vintage 2004 already on the shelves and next year there's the 2005. Those million sellers tend to taste equal over the years, and uh, I had that one in uh, of a 1996 vintage, uh, and I looked up uh, what I said in that old video, uh, not in English, I'm afraid, um, and they were really quite comparable to what I felt now. So quality is constant, and this season approach uh, continues and helps the whiskey to stay well the way you know. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come as always, and feel free to share this video with your friends.